Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation in Seattle with notes on several, uh, re well, one in particular, remarkable services that's offered by NOAA. And um, it has to do with viewing and uh, select, well, mo mostly viewing here. But um, now start out and just re and uh, take a quick look at some things that I think are maybe more familiar and then move on to this uh, this one viewer of electronic charts that uh, may not be so familiar to folks. And so we start out, here's the, their main page, uh, uh, www.charts.noaa.gov. There's numerous ways to get there. You can just Google NOAA charts and, well, NOAA chart viewer, probably be the best interactive chart viewer. Uh, but anyway, you get into their site and then you see all of these things. And so this is the standard page that I'm sure many, many of us know about here where you can just, and I'm, by the way, I'm zooming out. It's just a map of the, of the United States outlining all the charts. I'll look up here in the Northwest where uh, area I'm familiar with uh, more so. And the Puget Sound, and then we'll look out here at Nia Bay say this chart here so this is a place where if you want you see the outline here you don't see the chart on this particular viewer you don't see the chart but you can click it and then you see all the information about it and you could download it you just download it right there um, that's that now the other thing that um, I'll, I'll show in a minute if you actually wanted to see this chart you would have to go to a different viewer that this doesn't show it but they have uh, this uh, viewer here uh, this is called their uh, NOAA RNC raster navigation charts raster navigation charts and uh, this would be a sample of this standard it's an electronic version copy of the paper chart so this is in Nia Bay and you could zoom in but now these charts here this particular viewer, the NOAA RNC viewer, is seamless. So that has certain virtues in that you can zoom out and see different charts at different scales. But if you actually wanted to see in depth what this particular chart looked like, you first of all, you have to zoom in just to be sure you get to the right one. Just keep zooming in and it'll eventually uh, switch down to the uh, detailed chart right here. If you want to look at the individual chart, now here's the individual chart viewer. Let's see where that takes us. Yeah, that takes you there. Then you have to click, in this case, Pacific Coast. Then you have to go to the actual chart, chart number. So from back here, you would find the chart number. Actually, you're not going to find it there. You would have to go back. Oh, I lost it. You'd have to go back here to get the chart number and so on. But that chart, I can tell you what the number is. It's 18848. Uh, but this viewer now, again, this is another viewer. We're now looking at the third viewer at NOAA. That's the thing that may not be fully appreciated, that they have all these different viewers. Now, this is the, the individual chart, just the individual chart. And so you're seeing all the details. And then you can go in here, and you can read the uh, notes. You can read the notes. Now, you, on that interactive interactive uh, seamless viewer that's sometimes hard to do but in this case you've got here the uh, this is the uh, data on the survey accuracy right here the uh, uh, zone of con source diagram it's called here source diagram that's there so you can read the notes now uh, that's uh, what I wanted to show about that and um, Next, let's go back now to if I'm here at this viewer, where was that viewer? Chart locator. So now I'm back here at the place where you view the charts that you might want to download. And notice I'm in the, uh, what am I, this is a white paper charts and PDFs. I'm not going to talk about the PDFs, but they have these remarkable PDF documents, but, but that deserves another whole talk. But so here are these charts, here you click it, here you download it. And that's all straightforward. But now, the, the main subject that we've been working on the last uh, six, eight months is electronic charts of these uh, vector chart types. That's the, and well, let me just show ahead of time. I'll come back to this. But this is our new book, Electronic Chart Navigation, which is 
prime it's, it's about the general use of uh, ch electronic chart navigation and uh, how to use it but it's mainly discussing the difference between the charts and in particular talking about the electronic navigation charts those are the vector charts and that's what I want to look at here let me get back to this thing don't need that one. So this is a, so here we're looking at the the raster charts, and these are going to be copies of the paper charts. As you zoom in, uh, you're selecting one of those. But you can also then, if I want to see what vector charts are available, you just switch back and forth here. So this now is the vector chart and um, the, these have a different type of names, it's going to remind you that it's uh, roughly or closely equivalent to this uh, raster chart here, 18484. But this has a new name, a new type of name. It's a U.S. chart. It's called a, a scale band 5, state of Washington. And this is the actual number, 20. They all end in M. So this is chart number 20. And these details are discussed in our new book. So here's where you can, but again, you're not seeing the chart. You're not seeing the chart, but this is a place you click it to download it. Now, with that long introduction, let me go to this other viewer. This is the one that is really exciting, and it's called the NOAA ENC Online Viewer. And this is a way that you can actually see and interact with the electronic navigation charts, the vector charts. So we're up here in uh, uh, Nia Bay somewhere. So let me zoom in to that area. And, uh, and also, it looks like I have, let's see, somewhere, I have turned on the bound, oh, cell extends off. Hmm. Well, they look to be pretty much on here, but maybe that's for later on. Uh, but there's all there's a various functions here which I'll come to very shortly. So here we go. Let me zoom into this chart and um, zoom into this chart. And this is doing a lot of computations online, so sometimes that's a little bit slower. Okay, so there it is. And the outlines have gone away. May, um, maybe now if I wait, where is that? Maybe if I turn these outlines on. Let me just see what that does. Yeah, so now they're back on. It doesn't hurt us for now. But this is a chart just for the, for the example. I'm homing in on uh, Nia Bay here. Um, so we're just homing in. And now, again, it has to, it has to focus. And um, so there you go. Now we're looking at a vector chart. These are going to look different, of course, than the uh, raster charts. But uh, here's an example of one. Now we're all dialed in. And so, and again, I have to refer to our book that explains this. This is a, the safety depth contour is highlighted. And you can here actually set the depths. So if I wanted like this depth out here, this, okay, let me back up a minute. This is not just showing the chart. This chart, is, which is the main thing I'm trying to get to here, this chart is interactive. It's going to act just like your ECTUS or your, uh, your regular chart navigation program would. In other words, if I click that, see, it's going to go in there and tell me everything about it. Plus, it has this very nice feature of highlighting the object that we selected. I just selected a depth contour. But the way these ENCs work is they are layers of information. This is one of 14 layers. In other words, 14 pieces of information buried underneath this line. So one of them, uh, and so, and I want more information. So I want the details. So here we are. This is, I clicked a depth contour. And the value of the contour is 18.2 uh, meters. And again, I get to refer and make a plug for our book. This thing, SCA min, scale minimum, that is the, you have to be down to that large, or I should say up, I guess. I don't know, down. But the scale has to be this big or larger, or that won't show. This contour will just disappear for other scales. And so, but this is 18.2 meters, and the 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 the, uh, the base uh, units are uh, meters uh, in this. So now I can go click on other things. What else do I have here? I have all the 
information about the restricted area that's located there, more restricted areas. This is the quality of the data. We actually explain this a lot. It's a very valuable parameter. It doesn't exist in all the charts, and it doesn't exist in this one. But um, that's there telling the quality of the data. Uh, traffic patterns there. The magnetic variation. Now that's uh, uh, that covers this whole region around here and the variation is, is uh, 10 degrees east. Uh, that's a minus. And it's actually increasing 16 uh, minutes per year. So that's all there. And you go on. You go on. Assist the navigation. The sea area. It's called the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Um, cautionary area. There's submerged cables in the area, uh, and the administrative area, and the depth area. Now the depth area, whenever you click an area, you, it's going to tell you, for example, this, this depth area is telling me the, the, um, the range of the contours. Like if I click anywhere in this region here, I will get a depth area 18.2 to 36.5 meters. So that's telling you the, the range of the depth. So that's there. All of that's there. Oh, and then it's going the other way since I clicked exactly on a, on a contour. That's only fair. I mean, it's really part of both of these objects. If I had clicked right here, I'd have just got one of them. So what else is there? 14. Um, this is a, just a technical area thing having to do with the chart. And this is just a... A uh, reminder of where they the chart that they got the data from. Then you can click this information and read all about. This is like one of them, some of the main notes that appear uh, that appear on the chart. So that's the way these uh, these charts work, and it's a really quite an amazing tool because it's showing you like here's a light, a sector light, um, and you can click it and it'll tell you it's a beacon. You know, it tells you about the all about the beacon, what it's for, and so forth. So that's the way these charts work in your program, and uh, that way you can test it here. And in a sense, a nice thing about this is they are showing you with this uh, with this viewer what these charts really should look like. The various electronic chart programs we might use, some of them are very close to the standard that they're supposed to be. Others vary a little bit from it. So, like, here's a rock, and, well, we have to, exp I have to then refer to the book. They, the rocks are a whole lot, rocks are a whole lot different uh, presented in uh, these electronic navigation, na uh, the ENCs rather than RNCs. So I get to refer to the book. Uh, there's only two kinds of rocks here, but there's many kinds of rocks in the real world. So that's one thing. Uh, that's one thing about this thing. So you have tons to play with. But now, let me go here. Here's base maps. So I could go here and put, like, see, we, there's a base map underneath here. And that base map, we could put an uh, image. Uh, where would be an image here? Imagery, imagery with labels. Well, let's try that one. Imagery with labels. So that's the background. Now, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I've selected that one. Now you can go here. Where would I go? Here. And nope, not there. I would go here. Now, uh, base map. Here's the, these ENCs are called S57s. And I've got the base map of world imagery. Now look what you can do. Now you can start, take down the transparency. So look at this. This is super cool. You can look at the chart actually overlaid on top of the uh, satellite imagery. This is very not so not particularly instructive here, but in other parts of the world it's very instructive to be able to do that. And then you can turn various things on and off. You have uh, tools here like you can measure let's say in uh, feet. Then you can just go and say, how far is it from here to here? It's a 15, well, it's a bad units. Uh, let's say uh, nautical miles. Well, let me clear this. Let me clear this completely. And go back to uh, here and then pick my units first. 
and then um, now you can go here to here oh okay now I get to point out just a, a essentially a, a trivial bug they have I mean a trivial bug but so you don't run across it when you click here and say units there's two of these that are nautical miles that's obviously not exactly what they meant let's take the top one now uh, now if we go here the bottom one simply didn't work that's a, a minor bug they'll fix that quickly they know about it so it's 0.26 nautical miles so you have these tools so you can do that so this is uh, quite a remarkable uh, quite a remarkable device uh, this this uh, tool for studying uh, ele electronic charts now let me go back and where was that no here here I want to look at just the charts okay and again you come here you can practice setting the depth contours and the and the value of that will be known as you as you work more with the electronic charts so I'll just uh, leave this for now and then there'll be a follow-up about another related viewer that uh, is also interesting but it's uh, that NOAA is responsible for, but it's actually part of the uh, IHO, International Hydrographic Organization. But that's my main point now, to play with these, if you want to see and interact with these uh, electronic charts, this uh, NOAA ENC online. And a uh, Google to that will, will get you right straight there. A uh, very, very powerful tool. And then another plug for our book where you learn about these electronic, uh, electronic navigation charts is here. And then we have in the back of our book a, a set of all the, all the possible symbols with annotations and links to the, to the textbook. So I'm going to stop for there on this.